Hi guys, it is an unbelievably, yes, is that so, an unbelievably spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise in East Bumblefuck, New Mexico, sitting on my brand new sustainably harvested doomsday deck on this gorgeous Saturday morning, I believe it's May 27th, 2017. I noticed recently I'm losing all track of days here in the end times. Uh, East Bumblefuck, but speaking of sitting on decks, before I dive into my clueless moron roundup rant, I just want to check into the mailbag here at Humpty Dumpty Tribe and <coughs> have a message from another doomsday deck sitter listening to the birds in the end times. And this is our old buddy Torstein. Torstein from over there in Norway. What is Torstein up to on this beautiful day in the end times? Message from Norway. And, you know, we're in this uh, friendly debate, Torstein and I, about Donald Trump uh, being the single biggest existential threat to humanity, to the planet, to the climate, whatnot. <coughs> anyway, I guess these really minute differences in perspective towards Donald Trump are related to my sitting here in the bird twittering lush temperate rainforest of Hardinger, Norway in my now collapsing deck chair of doom which I am considering putting up on eBay for sale by the way and in this very deck chair, I have single-handedly produced my Winter Blue Oceans update and my Arctic Sea Ice Collapse YouTubes. So this isn't just any old deck chair. Also, my deep research into the Arctic situation provides me with the clarity of options I wish and the crucial thing is that there is a time lag from our never happening significant changes in our emissions of carbon and to the point at which those emissions changed or not take a heating effect in our atmosphere. This means we are effed no matter who dwells in the White House or in any other homo sapien house for that matter. matter. I will agree Donald is an existential threat and a horror show, but so is and was our general situation on this planet before he was even elected by you guys over there in America. Thank you for pointing that out, uh, Torstein. Yes, the, the difference between Donald Trump and, and anybody else we would have elected uh, is the fact that Donald is taking the planet in... Uh, to a brick wall at 77,000 miles an hour, while anybody else would have been taking us into a wall at 67,000 miles an hour. Maybe Jill Stein would have taken this planet into a brick wall at 57,000 miles an hour. So anyway, uh, thank you Torstein for pointing out from your own bird song filled deck why we are so fucked so anyway I've uh, I've got to wrap this up and i got to get into my weekly clueless moron roundup rant but for a taste of that we're going 
to have a quote from someone I have never quoted on uh, in Humpty Dumpty tribe history. We're going to hear from somebody new for today's quote of the day to open up my clueless moron roundup rant. Coming at you as soon as I figure out how to set up these speakers. Bye, guys.